Introducing first the team of the runaway Ryan Curran and Big Mac Harry McDonald, the Big Stepper! Hello and welcome to WrestleForce TV on YouTube. This show is emanating from Tom Bridge at the Angel Centre. I'm Bobby Davies, joined by Eddie O'Keefe. How you doing, Bobby? I am good. Tag team action. I don't know if you know this about me, Eddie, but I love tag team wrestling. Me too. I grew up in the 90s, saw some amazing tag team wrestling, like the Hardys, the Dudleys, Edge and Christian, really shaped my love for tag team wrestling. Uh, I don't know if the big steppers are going to live up to that, but they have an attitude that suggests they're going to try. Harry McDonald, Big Mac, you see him in the purple, Ryan Coran in the red trunks. These, these two boys, cocky. yeah, these two boys have got an attitude, but do they have the skill, the depth, the arsenal to come at the WrestleForce staple, the duo of Kian Cameron and Ollie Peace? We get a nice mix here with Harry and Ryan. We get strength, we get speed, we get cunning, we get smarts. It's a real good mix of all kinds of wrestling here. A very a real, formidable tag team. Real willingness to uh, cut a corner. Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what you need to succeed, especially when you're this young. Find any opportunity you can and take it. Getting into it with a fan. They're not afraid to fight anyone. Well, that wasn't very nice by Harry McDonald. The size of Ryan Coran, though. Look at that definition. You got the big man bringing the power to this tag team. That's the kind of party you want to have on your side. And aside from a nice pair of Jordans, I think Harry brings Mouthing Off. I think that's his thing. Mouthing Off, Big Macs, some fries. If the asking machine's working, maybe a McFlurry. The fans really not getting behind the big steppers here. The confidence there, Harry McDonald, will help drive the team. You need someone as positive as him on your side. We have a really nice mix here with these two. Very excited to see what they can do. But, Eddie, your first time seeing this combo. They don't team together often, but they are good friends. Ollie Peace helped train Key and Cameron, was a big part of his development. And we're going to get, him, get to see him team together. Ollie Peace, one of the foremost trainers with WrestleForce. The young upstart Kian Cameron brings speed and intensity. The fans always love Kian. Ollie Peace, the veteran, head trainer with WrestleForce, bringing the best out of the young athletes like Kian Cameron. This should be an interesting pairing. I've not seen them t- team together very much, but they are it's friends. On- They've known each other a long time. It's honestly a very smart tag team to have the veteran team with the younger guy. It's a real good way to show just how much more you can learn in person, in real time. This is an interesting matchup because Kean Cameron is actually one of the number one contenders for the WrestleForce tag titles, but he's not with Ollie Peace. He's with Jaden Williams. He's getting a shot in South End at Mark True and Kieran Lacey alongside Jaden for the tag titles. Although any tag experience is obviously going to help develop Kean Cameron, maybe learn a few things from Ollie Peace, bring that to the match with Jaden. There is nothing quite like working with your trainer. It's really going to help him develop those skills. This is going to be a massive, massive match for Kean Cameron. And Ryan Curran trying to have a have a swipe at Ollie Peace as he enters the ring. It's very smart. Get the first shot in. Get your head in the game. Show he's not here to mess around. Peace asking referee Kyle to back the big steppers up. We'll see the uh, patented Peace handspring into the ring. Get him back, ref. And there he is, the veteran Ollie Peace. And then Kid Cameron just copying his buddy. Another nice little handspring into the ring. 
they may be inexperienced as the tag team, but they are showing they are in sync. They've got each other's back. Trust is the most important thing you can have in your tag team partner. Learn it from Oli Pig's already. Not taking his eyes off the big steppers. Big steppers, obviously, more experienced together as a team. Referee it's Kyle really... trying to get control of this match. I will give the edge to the big steppers in this case. More experienced. They know how to work together. Ollie and Kean, of course, training together, being trained by one or the other. It's a nice bit of chemistry between both these teams here. Kean Cameron going to start this one for his team. The young gun. Harry McDonald, Big Mac, saying he feels disrespected by not being on the meet and greet poster. Airing his grievances as he should. He's a big deal. He's a big Mac. Kian Cameron just looking confused by the, uh, by the outrage. Although Kian is on the meet and greet poster, so maybe he's not that bothered. Kian being smart, not letting it get to his head. Try not to let Harry's words just seep into his mind, not be a distraction. Now, there is a size difference, but Kian Cameron, used to being the smaller competitor in every match he's in, uses his size as a weapon gets low gets a manages to avoid attacks and comes off the top rope this guy can springboard he can fly off the top great shoulder tackle by mcdonald big mac of the big shoulder tackle his greatest asset is his big mouth wasting time though letting kian cameron get back to his feet drop kick by cameron you on the money. Wasting time. You could also argue he's just trying to get into the head of Kian Cameron. So the way he throws at him, he doesn't Tag care. Into Ollie just, Peace. It's like water off a duck's back for the big man. We saw Ollie Peace. Great double team. Cartwheel drop kick by Cameron. Running elbow by Peace. Look at the synchronicity. Very sm ooh, smooth action. Look at that. Oh, a bit of communication there. Dropping Cameron on top. We've seen this repeat before. Standing moonsault. Athleticism by the veteran into the cover. Big Mac managing to kick out the last second. Already looking worse for wear after that series of attacks by Cameron and Peace. Very nicely done. Trying to isolate Big Mac in the corner. Keep him on your side of the ring. That's the smartest thing to do in a tag match. Tag back into Kia Cameron. We lost our only Peace in action at Rayleigh with a victory over Nathan Angel. Very smart there from Harry McDonald. As soon as he can, run away, tagging the bigger man, Ryan Curran. Great Enziguri by Kian Cameron. Harry McDonald interfering though when he looks for a springboard up the top. Given Curran enough time to get his way with the laugh being kicked in the head. Powers him up, Samoa drop. Beautiful. You may not like it, but that is smart tag team action. Using every opportunity you can, using your partner in any way you can. It's extremely smart. It's how they're so successful as a tag team. Look at that. Lovely little cheap shot there, but again, it works. Kia Cameron off of a series of big wins, teaming up with Jada Williams. Pete's getting frustrated. What tag team by the big steppers? Flatliner, drop kick combo. Into the cover. Kia Cameron showing his heart. Kick it out at two. McDonald's looking frustrated already. Thought that was going to be enough. Those moves there, those moves are much more, much slicker, much more well together. These are a tag team that knows each other very, very well. Great tag team wrestling, standing between Kian Cameron in his corner, now opening him up for an attack from Ryan. Just cutting the ring in half, making sure that they're in control the whole way through. Now I know you're new to WrestleForce, Eddie, and you've seen Ollie Peace before, but have you seen his cousin, Ollie War? I don't think I have, no. So the last time Ollie Peace was in the ring was in our hometown show at Rayleigh. But his cousin then showed up for a match at Aylesbury, teaming with the Tall Tower. The Ollie's family tree is, is, is a madness. The Rap Master, Ollie Peace, Ollie War. They all look alike. The DNA is, is strong, yeah. They all have a, a very similar visage. Ryan yeah, choking Kian Cameron in the corner. It helps to have family and wrestling, especially when you're as close as the pieces tend to be. Well, they uh, they actually don't get on. They uh, you very rarely see them at the same show. WrestleForce have realised how well, how little they get on. Won't book them together. It's a 
shame. Force of the family, of course. And there's Big Mac showing off again. Look at the big steppers. This tag team continuity, you called it at the beginning, Eddie. They were going to be more in sync. Grab work experience as a team. They're in sync. They know exactly what the other one's thinking. They know where they are at all times. You get that from experience with your partner. Working the midsection and also getting in the face of Ollie Peace. Now, anyone who's done a bit of research knows Ollie Peace can be a bit of a hothead. He's very passionate about wrestling and about his friends. Trying to protect here, Cameron, but not doing him any favours. Look at this double team by the big steppers. Peace getting Ooh. past the referee, though. Just one Ref him down. out. Not often you see someone just disregard the referee. Ooh. A chest shot by Ryan to Kian Cameron. Strength of Ryan Curran. Powerful, powerful lad. Completely winding poor Kian Cameron. Kian now being rolled back in the ring. Harry McDonald not letting the chance get to him at all. Waving them off. Loading up Kian Cameron, looking for a suplex. There it is, called it the Big Mac suplex in the middle of the ring. Kian looking dead to the world. Kick it out though, lackadaisical cover by Big Mac may have given Kian that chance. Now taunting Kian by showing him the tag corner, not letting him anywhere near, trying to grab his hair. That is a low tactic by Big Mac. Doing it right in front of the referee as well, almost showing that he doesn't care what he does to Kian Cameron. Using his entire body weight to launch Cameron across the ring. Yeah, Big Mac is tall. He's not the biggest guy in the fight, so he does have to throw all of his weight into the Irish whip. But it does help. These little differences make such a huge impact. Kick the gut. Taking the wind out of Kian Cameron. And here comes the big man, the runaway Ryan Curran. Head of steam. But Ooh. Kian sees it coming. Ollie Peace providing enough of a distraction for Kian to find his wherewithal. Elbow to Big Mac. The big man Ryan stopping Kian Cameron on the way in Curran. Now just driving the elbows into Kian Cameron. Ryan Curran is far too strong for Kian Cameron. He definitely needs to make a tag to Ollie Peace. Do you ever get the feeling that uh, Big Mac mouths off and bullies people that hide behind Ryan Curran in the playground? <laughs> I mean, that's a fair assumption. Big he's swing. Saying that his, his opponents are not loving it right now. Centre of the ring, drop kick, takes out Kian Cameron. Into the cover, holding down the shoulders. Cameron kicks out at two. Big Mac looking a bit dejected now. Kian Cameron does not stay down. Kian Cameron wants to prove himself to his trainer, Oli Peace. He is worthy of being in a wrestling ring. He knows exactly what he's doing. This is a huge opportunity for him. Harry McDonald needs to not get frustrated. He needs to stay on top. Keep doing what he's doing. Peace. Trying to encourage his, his student, Kian Cameron, to get back in this match. Sidestep from the big boot. Cameron loading up. Big Mac. They're a Mishinoku driver in the middle of the ring. Beautifully done. Look at the face of Big Mac, he is lost. Coming down high on the shoulders, ringing the back of his head, looking to tag but going the wrong way. That's the wrong corner, Mac. He's completely dazzled. He doesn't know where he is, come on. Kieran Cameron, high impact move. Kips up, tags in peace, who is a house of fire. Flying clothesline, wiping out Kuran. He needed this tag more than anyone. Ollie Peace been desperate to get into the ring. Tilt a well slam. He is Ollie. fired up now. He's listening to the crowd. He's had all that energy pent up on the outside. Lining him up. Probably looking for Peace out. He's version of the cutter. Lining him up. Peace out. No, Karan still too big, too strong. Ollie Peace though. Shotgun Ooh. drop kick out of nowhere. The sudden spring from the middle rope. Holly Peace as fast as lightning. Almost took his head off with that big drop kick. We talk about how fast Kian Cameron is. Do not underrate the veteran. He saw him Molly testing Peace. the ropes earlier. Walking around the middle rope. Turn on turn. 
Unbelievable agility. Look for Peace out one more time. Roll up by Karan into the cover. This could be over. Ollie Peace kicking out at one. But then gets a knee to the side of the head for his trouble. Big step was tagged. Running knee. That was vicious. Ryan Curran, strong but also deceptively smart. Knew exactly where to be. Exactly how to counter that cutter. Big steppers lining him up. High, low attack. Now Peace just right, had his bell rung, pulled to the centre of the ring. This one could be over. What a double team manoeuvre. Oh, Ollie Peace. Kicks out of the last very second. You notice how Peace doesn't just kick out though. Flies his shoulder off the mat, making sure the referee sees it. Big steppers cannot believe that they are an absolute shock. In control though, they need to stay on top of Ollie Peace. They're going to keep Ollie down. They need to stay on top of him. Harry McDonald cannot get frustrated. It's probably his biggest weakness. His ability to get frustrated so easily. Not keep his head in the game. Lining him up. Ryan Coran now. Control of Ollie Peace. Picks him up. Looks for a suplex. Don't know what double team they were looking for. Peace slides out the back. Meeting of the minds for the big steppers. Keaton Cameron back in the ring. Handspring. Enziguri. Toe right to the temple. Precision accuracy right there on the side of the head. Cameron firing up now. The big step is on the side. Vaulting. Body press. But the big step is catching Kian Cameron. Holly Peace though. Can remind himself. Tope wiping out all three men. Sacrificing his own tag partner to get the moment there. Kian though. Back to his feet. Taking a bullet for his partner. Like a good partner should do. Kian Cameron though, he's feeling it, running on adrenaline, spring, ball, cross, body, peace, we're going to see the patented, spring in to that middle rope moonsault, there it is, coming down hard on Ryan Coran, getting fired up by the crowd, not going for the cover though, could be a mistake, peace, out in the centre of the ring, Kian Cameron, Going to take care of Big Mac as Ollie Peace gets the cover. There it is. Your winners, Kian Cameron and Ollie Peace. Great move. Veteran move by Kian Cameron. Playing point guard against Big Mac there. Extremely hard for battle there. Ollie Peace, as soon as he got into the ring, did exactly what he had to do. Directed traffic to Kian Cameron. Used all of his aggression and pent up just on the outside. They only let that moment of aggression overwhelm them for a second. Then they regroup, throw Ryan Coran in the ring, hit a series of big moves. Springboard crossbody, moonsault, then the peace out. Ryan Coran, no way anyone's kicking out of that series of uh, series of moves. Great showing from both wrestlers. Unfortunate big steppers didn't get the win here. Key and Cameron really showed he belongs here. Oli Key- P should be very, very proud of him. Kian now looking forward to that match at South End. Tag Team Championships teaming with his buddy Jaden Williams taking on True and Lacey. True and Lacey. Big mountain to climb for Kian Cameron and Jaden Williams. But they look to do it in South End. Thank you for watching WrestleForce TV here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on social media at WrestleForce and we'll see you next time.